Greetings from beautiful Pleasure Rehabilitation Center, lovely citizens. CitizenCon ended three days ago as I'm recording this video. We have the opportunity to watch the announcement of numerous features, ships and even quests. Personally, I'm most interested in crafting and base building because in my opinion it has the greatest potential for meaningful and organic progression in the game. In addition, it will be also bring benefits to players who are not interested in crafting and base building, but I may record a separate episode on this topic. Let me know in the comment if you are interested. However, I really believe that even the most stubborn PvPer who only enjoys combat and piracy will derive significant benefits from the existence of these two mechanics in-game. Okay, so what do I consider the worst thing about CitizenCon? That it was so well executed and focused the hope and attention of almost every player. I'll explain why. Let's go back in time to the weekend when the whole event was underway. Almost all players' eyes were already on the stage in Manchester Central. Patch 3.24.2 has been launched. While the citizen con stages were undergoing incredibly well prepared presentations, many players on the PU servers were experiencing probably the worst update launched in the years. We had endless login screens errors 350 and 360. When we finally managed to log in, many players were unable to get out of the bed. And when we managed to get out of the bed, after a few minutes, we were still trapped in the apartment. When we were patient enough to finally wait for the doors to open, the same thing awaited us when trying to travel by elevator. But that's not all. For the entire weekend, at least for me, the EU servers were unavailable, so I had to try to play on the US servers, of course. Any combat activities turned into the hell of lags and dissings. And if someone used attrition repeaters, they would quickly realize that these guns did not work. Vehicle and ship lights are bugged. Inventory system is not responsive. Hangar doors were often bugged as were hangars themselves. In bunkers and distribution centers we often had a bug that made the game threat these places as army street zone, so you couldn't use your weapon which didn't apply to NPCs. It was incredibly easy to fall under the planet texture to make matters worse 30k errors appeared very often. In my case, at least half of them were not subject to the recovery and kicked me out of the game a lot of times. Even when recovery worked, there was a chance that a ship parked nearby would disappear under the planet's surface, which even happened to me once and I made content from uh, this in last episode of my roleplay series, uh, which I recommend watching. 
These are just some of the unpleasant things I have experienced myself and I believe that many of you will add your adventures in the comments. Unfortunately, the shine of CitizenCon overshadowed this dark side of the verse. While active players like me were struggling with server bugs and malfunctions, often participating in issue council reports, Spectrum was buzzing with discussions about the future of the game and the content presented over the weekend at Manchester Central. YouTube was bursting at the seams with CitizenCon coverage and commentary, which more and more speculation about the future of the game, discussions about base building, new planetary systems, new ships and all the other exciting topics from the convention that I find hard to believe considering the sorry state of the PU. Only a few, such as long-time backer, creator of the Gem Review channel, and Marcus Wynn pointed out the terrible performance of patch 3.24.2, in my opinion, far worse than PTU state. I wanted to focus on positive things, creating a new RP series that I was very excited about. But the state of the patch is so bad that it takes away a big chunk of this pleasure for me and prevent me from making videos as quickly as I usually do. And the previous patches were not ideal at all. Remember what happened at the launch of Cargo Empire's patch 3.24, which was compared by many creators on YouTube and Twitch to 3.18? Now it's much, much worse than 3.24. And the big share of the internet, especially the bigger creators, is silent about this focusing on the content from the weekend. New videos are still being made about it. However, at this point, when Wednesday is over, the performance of PU is still degraded. Please let me know in the comment what do you think about it and if you play at all. I would also be very grateful for your subscriptions because it will help the channel grow a lot. Now I say goodbye to you and as always have a great day and bye bye. Or for God's sake, I spawned again in Clasher. What the freaking hell?